In a time long ago, before the internet was born, people of all kinds opened books and communicated face to face. Everyone in this room has used technology to either look something up on the internet, uh, send a text, or even an email. Everyone in this room, excluding Dr. G, has grown up as a digital native. Using technology every day is just a daily norm. My parents, much like Dr. G, did not grow up with technology at their fingertips. John and Aaron Jones, my parents, are not technology nerds, but they do admit that the advances in technology have made work easier, communication quicker, and entertainment easier to attain. Imagine going to a professional job without a computer or laptop. My dad was a school teacher for a long time, and he always hated printing things because the printers were dot matrix, and those things just took forever to print. When the new laser jet printers came out, he loved them because he could send something, send something to the printer, and by the time he was there to pick it up, it would already be done for him. He also loved his laptop because he could take his teaching work on the go. And when he, being an athletic director, the day he got a cell phone made it work so much easier because he would never have to run to the office because there's phone calls waiting for him. My mom was a social worker and her computer is very important to her because she could communicate with more families and setting up her appointments was hassle free. What if cell phones were never invented? Communicating in the past just took too long. When my parents were growing up, they'd either have to mail a letter to somebody, call them on their rotary dial phone, which just took a while, or they had to find them face to face and communicate with them. Now my parents can just whip out their cell phone. They can call me, text me, email me, try to FaceTime me, Snapchat me, and tweet about me in five minutes or less. They love the variety of ways they can communicate with me and the convenience of it. The one thing they love now that everyone in the family has an iPhone is the ability to group text. With two boys off at college and a daughter in high school involved in many activities, they just don't see us get as much as they'd like to. So they stick us all in a group text and just text us throughout the day. They love the fact that they don't, that they don't have to pay postage on the text and wait a week for a response in the mail. Many of us love entertainment. Going to the movies every time you want to have a family movie night, it can just get really expensive. When my parents were growing up, they didn't go to the movies very often as a family because my grandparents just hated the hassle of hauling everyone into town and then paying for the movie just got really expensive. Now, thanks to Redbox, the whole family can enjoy a movie for just over a dollar. The other benefit to this luxury is the fact that we can save money on movie snacks. My mom can just make a home cooked dinner and the whole family can enjoy a movie in our house while eating dinner as well. Going to a ball game used to be really difficult because you'd never find the tickets that you wanted. In the past, you either have to know someone or you have to go to the stadium and hope they had tickets that you wanted available. Now, my dad can just log on to the StubHub or Craigslist and he can find the tickets of his choosing without much of a hassle. My parents love how easy technology has made things. They are not technology nerds, but they do admit the advances in technology have made work easier, communication quicker, and entertainment easier to attain. Many of us would struggle if we didn't have our technology today, though. I can imagine anyone would struggle if you took something away from them that was also part of them.